All right, I'm hoping we have sound now. Can you let me know, you gorgeous ones? It's been a bit of a difficulty tonight. Can you hear me, darling? I think, oh, wonderful. So I'll just do a really quick, oh, thanks, Peter, John. You can hear me now. I'm just going to do a, a really quick review of what I've said in just a point form, and then we'll continue on. I said Carton Ware started in 1890, and it was in a place called Stoke-on-Trent, which is in England, and they had these pottery factories, and you can see there what they look like. And they're still there today, but they've been turned into museums. So that is going to be wonderful. One on my bucket list so that I can go over there and see it. And so in the 1890s, going up to around the, um, 1910, they did what was called blush wear patterns. And you can have a look at that star, which is really quite... Victorian I'd say in its look and they had lots of different like patterns and I know of collectors and what they do is they collect a certain pattern so one of the patterns is called poppy oh I wonder why one is called floral one is clematis one is chrysanthemum one is Royal May, one is Bird. So the names or the patterns are very collectible. So say, for instance, you want to do a search to find a piece, you put in Royal Dalton, I'm sorry, I'm talking about Royal Dalton, Carlton Ware, and then you put in one of the pattern names, like Petunia. So Carlton Ware Petunia. And it'll come up with pictures. Yep. Well, Carlton, I did say at the beginning of my first try at doing this that Carlton is a good name because it comes from Queen, um, from Victoria, from Melbourne. And I know Rose Kay, my dear Ruth, you're from there. And hello, Brandy. Lovely to see you. So that was a quick going but what I'll do now is I'll tell you about my favorite era which is called Art Deco. So Art Deco look at the color look at the color in these pieces they are so collectible and they be big money and unfortunately, well, I sort of have, I've got one little piece and I'll be showing you that later, but most of my pieces come from the next category, which is what's called Royale. So Royale is where they use four different colors. They used green, they used blue, they used red, and they used black. And the basis of the pattern had that glaze. So it would have a red glaze, and then they would put on top of it the next pattern. And some of them were spider webs, some of them were uh, fish. They were all different patterns, and these were really popular around the 1940s, after the war, going into the 50s. And in fact, your mum or grandmother, depending how old you are, might have got one of these as a wedding gift because they were very, very popular. So, Carton Ware then went into what's called the retro era. 
So the retro era is where they have things that are a sort of an interesting shape. So I'll show you. Here are some of the retro pieces that Carlton Ware did. So they did dishes and they did teapots and they did all different patterns. I think one of my favourite patterns, and this actually became really quite fashionable with the younger generation. So my daughter's age, who's... 30 and the early going into early 40 year they were right into collecting these retro pieces so I've got a few of these retro pieces here if you have a look at this piece it is a shape it's got texture and it's in the shape of a leaf. So they took things out of nature, like leaves and boomerangs were huge because they actually did patterns in for Australia as well. So this one has got its name on the back and it is registered uh, as an Australian design. So what happened is it became so popular, not just in England, but it became popular all over the British colonies. Here is another one from that era in the shape of a fig leaf, a vine. Can you hear that? We've got a storm going on. Here is another one. It's the shape of a sunflower. So what you are seeing are carton wear, but you're seeing things that are quite economical. At the moment, you can buy something like this for about $10, $12. So even though it's from the 1950s and 60s, they're still quite economical. Now this one has puzzled me because it is the shape but it is not the colour. Remember I told you they had four colours. Well this colour is actually yellow so I have no idea. It's not a royale. It's got hand painted and it's got like a beautiful gold edging and it's got the swirls i love the twirls and swirls so this one is one i've got for sale and uh, i'll be showing a few i'm not doing any sales tonight tonight's just you finding out about this wonderful brand but I always do my sales on Sunday night at eight o'clock, same place, okay? Here is another carton wear. So this one, again, is an Australian one. So of course the Australian ones are going to be easier to find because we're in Australia. But if you go overseas or if people, you could have bought the ones that were popular in the countries that they were doing. So we had designers from Australia doing the designs, sending them over to the factory and they come back and they were specifically made for Austra the Australian market. So this one, I think, looks a bit like tulips. Yeah. All right, I've showed you everyone except for this last one. And this is the piece that I got for my birthday when I turned 60. And I got it sent over from England because some of you might know, I just love the oriental look. 
and this is just divine. And if you have a look here, its back stamp is different to all the ones that I've been showing you. So this is from a different era. So carton wear, this probably, if I did a photo search, you'd probably be able to see that this is of a higher quality and it's probably worth a lot more than the cheaper ones that you saw just a minute ago. All right, so what happened? The 1980s came and this is what happened to carton wear in the 1980s. If you can see that, there's the 1980s and Moscow Olympics, just like we're about to start the Olympics. Moscow Olympics started and they started to make really quirky, I think sort of little childish things like elephant tea teapots. They made egg, egg cups with little feet on them. And they were the sort of things that were popular in the 1980s. But there was a recession around in the 1980s and the poor cartonware group went into liquidation. In fact, they closed up and went into receivership in 1989. So, what happened then was there were people who were collectors of carton wear all over the world and they decided that they would sell it and they sold it and kept the name. And I haven't been able to find out whether it's still operating, but prior to COVID, they were still selling carton wear in the museum and the factories, whether they made it in, um, in Asia and brought it over, I don't know. So that's something I'll have to look into because I just couldn't find anything about it, what has happened to carton wear now. Some websites saying they're still being made, but I don't think they're being made in England, I think it will be made overseas, but I'll have to check. Well, I just want to share with you about this group that I started about, I think it was about eight years ago. I know it's all back the front, sorry about that. It's called the Carlton Ware Crown Devon, Crown Ducal, and Shorter and Sons treasures because a lot of people want to sell and or they want to buy. And if there's a group on Facebook that is selling pieces, and it's a, it's not just Australia, it's worldwide. So search for it if you're interested. Have a look. I just made 1,000 members yesterday. And I've got a few other people who are actually um, uh, helping with, with that group. I've got other administrators. So if anyone ever wants to help me run a group, put your hand up because it is such a, a good thing to be able to help because I've got, to, um, I've got to see when they put up a posting whether it's okay because I don't want spam. So if you'd like to find out more... And if you'd like to see some more of those other Crown Devon, I'll show you a Crown Devon and you're going to say, wow, that's so much like the um, carton wear. So this is a Crown Devon piece. Again, it's got the Asian in the there. It's beautiful shape and it's got the colour 
the royal colour of the red. And it's got lustre wear, so it, you can see when I hold it like that, you can actually see the rainbow effect. So this is a special piece, but it isn't carton wear, but carton wear made such similar pieces. This is Crown Devon as well. Some of you have seen this in my sales. It's a passion fruit, little gorgeous little jug. It's the Crown Devon. So you can see how the eras, they went and followed a, a um, sort of like whatever was popular for that time. And the last one I will show you, because we're nearly finished. I don't want to go any further than uh, half an hour. This one is Royal Winton. Now, Royal Winton, again, it was very competitive in price, like those pieces you just saw then. The very expensive ones are the ones that have been done in the Art Deco period, the big vases and that. But this one is a fuchsia. And again, the patterns you can collect fuchsias with Royal Winton. Likewise, I think this one is clematis. You can collect clematis with carton wear. And the last piece I will quickly show you is something from that period as well. This is called Wade and it's English and they have sort of these orangey colours. Now the orange colours, the autumn colours became really popular in the 1960s and 70s. So this is how it sort of transformed. It went from Art Deco to retro and then it went into sort of these delightful patterns. So thank you everyone. I hope I was able to get the sound because we're in the middle of a storm. So how hard it is to do a train, you know, do a session with lightning and everything. So I do hope you enjoyed learning about carton wear. And if you are interested, I'll just turn this around so you can see it properly. Oops. Why didn't that go around? Now you'll be able to see it properly. So, you lovely ladies, and I don't think Bren's here anymore, he kicked on being kicked off. If you are out and about in the second-hand stores, you might look at the back and see if there's carton wear. And um, you might get some really good bargains because it is the era when people like my mother, who are in their who are turn has turned 90, they are getting rid of a lot of their wedding gifts and carton wear was huge in that era. So there we have the group. If you're interested in joining, or you can just have a quick look and it might have some wonderful pictures. So I'll quickly just show you the pictures again. This was carton wear in the 80s. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be our king. Do you think it is? And also carton wear in the 80s did a lot of um, advertising. So carton, there was lots of advertising um, use, like they'd make little pottery figures to be used. And one of the figures was a toucan. 
and I'll put one of those up on my page later. I just haven't got one to show you. So there we have the walk back through the eras. And I'm pretty sure the one that I showed you my plate is from this era, a really good era. And look at this. This is the Art Deco area. So next week, I'm going to be doing it fully on Art Deco. I'm not going to be doing the name of a brand. I'm going to concentrate on this, what is Art Deco how how did it come out, what sort of things they like and it's going to be a wider thing. It's just not going to be on China. It's going to be on a whole clothes and everything, Art Deco. And this was the earlier one, which is the blush wear and they had different patterns and here were some of the patterns that they had and people collect the pattern that they like or they collect one of each, whatever. So thanks everyone. Look at my gorgeous little boy. He's in his, because it's been pretty cold here, he's in his little um, sheepskin coat. So thank you and bless you and I hope to catch you again on Sunday. Otherwise, if you've got any questions or want to find out anything more about Carlton Wear, just send me a message. Bye, lovelies.